Hey everyone, it's May 5th, 2023 as I record this. I don't know when I'm going to post it, if I even do. But I just had a thought and I just wanted to talk a little bit about legacy. And what exactly is that? Hello, say hello, Blanky. Come on, say hello. Anyway, personal legacies, not, you know, family legacies or anything like that. And what do I mean by that first? First, I mean leaving something behind that's going to significantly outlast you. Now, if you don't want to leave anything behind, I get that. That's fine. It's your choice. And most people, their legacy will be their children and their grandchildren. But that's only a few generations. And I don't mean to be a jerk when I say this, but Generally, after your grandkids go, you're not going to be remembered. You you're just won't be. Now, there's different ways you can, you know, leave something behind. And I wonder about this because, you know, I'm middle-aged, but I've actually wondered about this since I was like in my 20s. But I do want to leave something behind. Me and my wife have no children of our own. So, I mean, you know, so we can't, with them, leave any sort of legacy or anything like that. And I just think a lot about what I want to leave behind. What will outlast me for a very long time? And it could be something little or mundane. It could be helping someone out now and... I mean, you don't know what's going to happen to them, but they could end up being a great person. But, you know, I worry about legacy. You don't have to. You can worry about being a better person. I'm trying to do that. You know, I, I want to be a better person. And thinking about my legacy kind, kind of helps with that. Because, I mean, think about it. How many, how many assholes are remembered? I mean, sure, there's exceptions. I, I know, you know, some dictators are and stuff like that. But the average Joe... Even someone who's moderately famous, I, they're not. I remember people like Fred Rogers. I remember Albert Einstein. You know, those are the people I remember. I don't remember that kid that bullied me in grade school. I mean, I remember him, but I don't remember his name or his face or anything. So, you know, jerks are a dime a dozen. It's easy to be an asshole. It's hard to do something for somebody else or even yourself to leave that legacy. Now, for me, it'll probably be my guidebooks and my papers, but I don't know. Those will probably last as long as the civilization lasts, you know, whether that's a week after I'm gone or 500 years or a thousand. Tiberius is back there. And I see you. <laughs> He's that big. He needs a legacy. You know, I mean, I want to be remembered for contributing something to the human body and knowledge. That's my legacy. And I don't want to be remembered for hoarding a lot of money. I don't want to be remembered for, you know, things. Because you're usually forgot about after that, too. You know, once you're gone and whoever you leave everything to is done suing each other and fighting with each other and, you, you know... Do, you know, <laughs> they've resolved the mess that you honestly, you help create. <sighs> They're going to forget about you. And that's not something I want to happen. I mean, I won't have any choice what happens to me physically much after I die. I mean, I know where I want to be buried. I don't want to be cremated. I want to be buried. My wife wants to be cremated, but I know that, but I can control what will influence others after I'm gone. And that's really what a legacy is. Leaving something behind that's going to influence someone else after you're gone. You know, whether it's a short time or a long time, you know, actually it's a long time. Legacies are long-term things, you know. Because, I mean, we don't live very long. We really don't. You know, 70-odd years, 80. If you're lucky, my grandparents are 94. You know, you might live that long. Really lucky, 120. But that's nothing, man. A century is nothing. 
And the older you get, the faster time goes. That's something you young kids are going to learn. Because I remember being little and my mom would go out to get us McDonald's or something. And I think she'd be gone for like five hours. It was like 20 minutes because it was right down the street. <laughs> but now, you, you know, you, I'll be at work and I'll get going on something. And I'll hear someone say, oh, it's almost time to go. And I'll be like, what? Where'd those seven hours just go? You know, that happens more often than not these days. And I think... It's a good and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because your life's moving more quickly <laughs> from your perception. It's a bad thing, I mean, because your life's moving faster for you. But it's also a good thing because it makes you think about things. It makes you prioritize better. This Tiberius, he's fine. He's yelling for his mother. Um, you know, it helps you with patience. It does. Well, most people... Uh, I don't know. I just start noticing things in my adult life that I either didn't think about as a teenager or young adult or didn't care about, might have been aware of and didn't care about. But I don't want this to be that long. I'm not going to edit it or anything. But if I do post it, you know, feel free to let me know what you think. And this is totally impromptu. I gave zero preparation for this. But um, if you have any, I'm going to show you the cats here for a second. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below and i hope you learned something and there's bela she's running away blackie say goodbye to everybody hey bill yes <laughs> all right everybody now have a good day